Hey guys, it's Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to go over the Apex Trader funding series, but make sure you stay all the way to the end because I'm going to essentially break down the entire process of how you go from an inconsistent, unprofitable trader to a consistently profitable trader. So you want to stick around to the end. I'll provide the trading strategies and, and the blueprints to go from inconsistent to consistently profitable over the span of 12 to 24 to 36 months, depending on how long it takes the individual. So without further ado, just smash that like button and let's dive into the video. So on the screen, we have the Apex Trader Funding Series Challenge end of week 12. I just have the screenshot of the accounts because I wanted to blank out my account username. You can see we have a lot of uh, 150K accounts, about 12 of them with uh, profits. Uh, this week was a break even week and uh, the these accounts are sent at 153. Uh, ones at 154 and then some new ones because there was a 90 percent off sale uh i got picked up some more accounts right here with the sale uh, basically spent about 100 dollars there on these accounts and made some profits on some and then haven't traded others so all in all break even week and uh, we're about six thousand away from the profit target i'm expecting to get these uh, all funded actually by the end of this week so by by friday pretty much all of them will be funded or will be like one or two wins away from funded uh, based on my strategies and my sizing and then below which you can't see off the screen is the uh, 50k PA accounts that I've taken a break from trading because they're in severe drawdown you can take I'll link my previous videos up in the cards but I basically gave a breakdown showing each week where the profits were at um, and my 50k PA accounts are in a big drawdown close to being lost and I paid the lifetime fee for them so I took a break from trading them as I'm just getting more accounts turned into PA accounts and then I'll trade them all with the trade copier so with that's all covered, let's just talk about how how you can become profitable if you're unprofitable uh, at the current moment. The first step is be developing an edge. So trading psychology and mindset, none of this matters if you don't have an edge in the market. And on my screen, I'm using FX Replay, and this is a backtesting software that I use. I highly suggest you use. If you want a good uh, discount code, you can go to my buddy's YouTube channel, Mac Gray, and he's affiliated with him. So all you do is you would create a session and backtesting is essentially going back in time. You know, if, if there's something you see on the charts and you think that it can be repeated over time, over and over again, then you're gonna go ahead and backtest it. So you know the win rate, you know the risk reward ratio, and you know all these numbers that you can then go ahead and plug into the risk of ruin calculator. So that way you know your edge after collecting years of data. Once you have your edge and you know your win rate, your risk reward ratio, then you can extrapolate your potential profit on a weekly or monthly or quarterly basis because you know you know you could have a losing week right but you know if you have a good strategy then it's it, you shouldn't really have losing months you could obviously but depend on the strategy but i like to have strategies that are more consistent and have uh, a little bit higher win rate so that way i don't have losing months losing weeks for sure they'll happen but um you can find strategies that you don't have losing months as long as you build that edge so the first step like i said you go to fx replay you create a new session and let's say you're trading future you can backtest anything on here but i trade nq and es so maybe i pairs would be nq this is important so start date you can go about all the way back to whatever year you'd like let's say you want to go back to november 2021 click that date end date you want to backtest a full year so you go from november 2021 to november of 2022 or you can go all the way to today but say you backtest those 12 months you can create your own strategies and make them into descriptions, but for this sake, we're not gonna put, put that. Um, you can name it uh, backtesting, right? You go ahead and have your description, you save it. There it is, play now. And this is where you can trade in real time. You have your account balance. You can set up your chart however you'd like. Um, you can go to, let's say the 15 minute chart or the 30 minute chart. And you can say, okay, where were we? This is where we're trading Monday, November 1st, 2021. And then you can do it minute by minute or every 30 minutes, we're on the 30 minute chart. So let's say we wanna fast forward to the next trading day. I'm gonna to go to Tuesday. So we would fast forward, we would go to Tuesday morning at uh, pre-market. We go there to about 7 a.m., 8 a.m. And we wanna back test the strategy using the five minute chart. So we would go to the five minute chart and maybe on the screen we have some EMAs. Uh, on the screen, I believe it's a nine and a 21 EMA. Let's say you wanna use a strategy, uh, trading market structure. You wanna ignore the EMAs and you wanna say, okay, I'm gonna put my stop loss below, swing low, target uh, new highs, right? So what you would do is you wait, go to market open. Once it gets to 9.30, right here. Market opens and let's say you say, okay, uh, we have this big push up 
on a, I'm gonna wait for like let's say a pull pullback right there so you want to take a test you would just go here put in a long position let's say you want it to long you put your stop below this wick and you want a target of one to one you put it on the screen and then all you do is you press uh, place order and put your risk so you have a 100k account let's say you want to risk one percent and it's a buy a limit order or you could do market order market order so you're risking one percent and it shows you know estimated loss estimated profit save and it's on the screen and then all you're going to do is uh you could do it one minute at a time so now i'm going to watch one minute at a time and i can let it let it run puts me in the trade in profit shows the profit as one minute per second is moving see if it goes boom hits the take profit and then you see your account balance is 100 and 1000 made those 26 points right there this is how you do this so you would do this for a year let's say 12 months if you have a certain strategy after witnessing the market and you think hey i think this is going to be profitable let me set this up let me go ahead and back test it with not my funds you use fx replay you mark up all your data and you see okay after this 12 month period how profitable was it let's say after 12 months that you were up 15% uh, on your account which would be 115,000 uh, so you know you have a strategy that averaged 15% in at one year or it averaged 1% a month do it for other years see if it's consistent in other years then you know okay this strategy with this risk averages 1% per month right you would see what was the worst month Oh, one month I actually lost 2% now that you know all those numbers you can then go ahead to a prompt firm and apply that same strategy knowing that hey realistically my worst month could be this as long as I execute properly and executing properly then comes down to psychology so all this all this to say you, you trading psychology doesn't matter until you have developed an edge and you've tested it over years and then you use that with proper money so that way there's low emotions because you're risking $50 let's say on an account or $100 on an account so it doesn't matter that much. Then all you have to do is get in and, and trade your strategy properly. And you know maybe sometimes you are afraid to pull the trigger, which you really shouldn't be if you're only risking fifty dollars with a prop firm account. It's different if it's more money. And that's when you get the reps in of building real time trading using the prop firm accounts after you already have all the data of the years. And, and I skipped a step because once you have all that data, you say, okay, I, I tested two years. And my win rate over those two years was this. My risk reward was a one-to-one. -one. I did a one-to-one, -one, which means that my risk was 25 point loss, 25 point TP. I used a five minute chart. You write it all out, you write out your trading plan of all the rules you need to follow when you're trading this strategy that you tested and make it consistent in the testing. All, once all that's developed, you have the rules, you have the win rate, and you have the risk reward ratio. You can say, oh, average is 72% win rate and it's a one-to-one -one risk or ratio. I only take trades from 9 a.m. to 12 uh, 12 p.m. You know, I don't I don't trade I don't take trades in this kind of a market. I don't hold trades through news. You break down all these things. Then you would go over to the risk of ruin. You get a prop firm challenge, and, and your strategy average averages 10 opportunities per week. Well, 40 trades are in a month. So in a month, what's my risk of losing this prop firm account? My risk is 2.5 percent of of losing this prop firm account because with this win rate, with this risk per trade, with this max drawdown allowance, and this, with this many opportunities on average per month, 2% uh, two, two chance of me losing the account if I execute fully and I don't have any issues with my own psychology. So you have all those numbers, that's when you buy the prop firm and that's when you follow it and you, you start trading it. And then you'll notice once you start trading it, you'll have some slip ups and you won't be able to follow your trading plan, right? And then that's when it comes down to mentality and psychology and that'll take again it'll take months or even a year after you've already developed an edge just to follow your plan right it, it, it takes a long time so that's the that's the whole process of going from unprofitable to consistently profitable it all starts with developing the edge and developing the edge is usually the toughest part and it takes a lot of hours tons of hours in front of the charts uh, 10 hours a day it's, that's what I, I personally did 10 to 12 hours a day every single day for two to three years and I'm still developing new strategies and new edges, but I have, I'll have certain strategies that I know I can rely on, and then I also have certain strategies that I'm working on improving and building. And I'm always trying to improve my strategies, but you know, it took two to three years just to get to that point in the first place. And then now, 
there's still times where uh, I'm battling my own trade psychology. So it's a forever if it's a forever journey for sure. But I just wanted to make this video because I get a lot of questions on you know how to become a consistently profitable trader, and a lot of people think that you know trade psychology is a huge piece of it, but it's not until you've developed an edge already. So hit that thumbs up button if you appreciate it. Subscribe for more videos just like this. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.